This time on 5 Minute Friday, we ask the question, why am I so freaking weird? Welcome to the channel, I'm Grant Tommy, this is Straight Six Ben, your home for offbeat hot rodding, and today we're going to take a look at, well, not the whole idea of offbeat hot rodding, but a segment of it, and it's the, um, the era of cars that I like to call the odd bodies, and so I characterize that as basically anything from 1973 to 1981, and I'll talk about that more here in a second, uh, but you know what, let's just get five minutes over on the clock, and let's get started. All right, yes, the odd body years, what I like to call 1973 to 1981 vehicles. Well, you, what I like about that date range is it's more or less the second generation of F bodies minus the 70 to 72s, of course, but the muscle car era most people agree on ended in 1972 when the oil crisis in the EPA ruined everything for us gearheads. And we got the grotesque things like five mile an hour bumpers and stuff like that. But I happen to actually like this era of car, not because I think they're cooler than anything 64 to 72 necessarily, but I think it's mostly because, well, it's a reflection of my age. I'm 36 years old, so I was 16 circa 2001, and really it was going to be very hard to find um, a 64 to 72 car in good shape at the time, at high school age, and so really this was, um, well, that next chunk of cars was a lot easier to find in good shape at that age. Let's take for instance my older brother had a 1977 Chevy Nova, so fourth generation Nova X body. Um, it's actually of of the cars, and we'll get into this in a little bit uh, of that era. It, it actually had palatable proportions, unlike well, you know, the A bodies we talked about on Car Guy and Six Fan Show season opener. Between the Grand Prix, the Monte Carlos, and the uh, Cutlasses of that era, the five mile an hour bumper was was pretty pretty predominant. There were some pretty ugly front ends, um, but I guess what I still love about these cars, even despite all of that, was they still were V8 powered and rear wheel drive. And so, as a hot rodder, as a car enthusiast, those are like the top two components or recipes. For a starter car and then you know it was easy to find that grandma version of like a 75 Monte Carlo or something like that as opposed to a 67 Nova and though it took me to age 33 to finally own one like my 1978 Ford Fairmont Project Low Fairmont as I've dubbed it the budget build uh, I think that recipe has played out exactly the way I, I thought it would and the way I described. I found a car in great shape for $1,800 that didn't need paint and body work, um, and I was able to hone my skills on all the other things and not have to worry about what it looked like. Um, well, because one, it's a shitbox anyway, um, but two, everything was in, it was kept in such good shape. So. This is why I'm in love with these cars. It's, I don't expect the next guy to be in love with them. Um, but, you know, I might even push the goalposts back further from 1981 to about 1986. I think it was 1987, Detroit finally figured out um, fuel injection and we started getting power back in our lives. But, um, I focus on that OPEC era just because it's the forgotten years. Um, about 1978, like with the Fairmont, they've really started to clean proportions up. Things got a lot better, but um, it was also about 1982-ish where they, you know, started falling in love with front-wheel drive cars. You know, like the 1978 Ford Fairmont and 1983 Ford Fairmont, not that different. So I think you get my point. Um, it's it's OPEC era and Malaise era, but before we fell in love with the front-wheel drive car, I guess to wrap it up. As we get older and things get older, I mean, maybe this era car is going to be less and less viable as a, as a project car, um, because yes, this is a now a 44 year old car behind me, whereas when I was in high school, when I was 16, this was a 23 year old car. Um, but hey, as late as 2018, so when this car just turned 40 years old, this was an $1,800 purchase, um, they're still out there, and so I, I think I think for now, this is why I'd still highly recommend a 73 to 81 car. Um, point is, just get out there, go have fun, start getting dirty, start wrenching, 
start making things go faster that don't deserve to be faster than they are. Um, that's gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you enjoy 5 Minute Friday, here are some other ones over here. That's gonna do it for this episode. Just wanna say to all my six fans out there, thanks for watching.